everybody welcome to mobile graphics good afternoon in nigeria time so before we continue with this video i would like you to quickly click on the subscribe button subscribe to this channel please subscribe to this channel like our video so that we can be encouraged to uh, do more videos so today i'll be explaining to you how the best way you can achieve um what's it called you can achieve blast morphism in pixel lab you're going to be using two apps you're going to be using pixel lab i'm going to be using um photoshop touch the mobile version so we are going to be starting with a new project so let us just go to a new project i just want to show you something you know this card we're still going to go into this card later we're still going to work on this later but let us just do something new something uh, nice or crazy so let us just try something new so now we're going to be going into our background let us go to our background so i add uh, an image here okay i'll swap with an image here okay so let us go so i'm not going to be cropping the back the uh this background let us just use it the way it is or oh, let us just cut it is no I think I'm good to go to go with this. Let us just use it the way it is. So now we have this our background, this our background. So we want to create a movie thing. Selling, I don't know this brand. Okay, this is um Jordan. Yes. So we're going to be creating a movie scene selling Jordan and just something as simple as following. So first thing first that we do, as we have created this design, this particular design, we first of all you save it the way it is, you save it like this. Make sure you save it on uh um Pizza Lab, save it as ultra, save it and like that is first step. The second step is for us to create a shape. So we are creating a shape like this. We're creating a shape. Okay, we are creating this shape on preset lab. Okay. So we are creating this shape. Let us let me make it uh, wider a bit. So you add a radius of 10 to it. Radius of 10 to it. So adding a radius of 10 to it, we are good to go like this. We are good to go, good to go, good to go. So that is the first thing we do. So we we, 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 we stop it. From there we continue. So from there, click on the image. What you do is for you to duplicate this image. When you duplicate it, the first one that you created, just hide it. So this the first one, make sure you center it. Make sure you center the first one, the very first one. Make sure you center it. It will work that way because now you saw the second one. Make, let us make sure we center it too. So we go back to edit this particular image, this particular object, I mean, um shape. Sorry. So we go back to editing this shape. So now what we need to do is just for us to leave the radius the way it is. We go to the field opacity, we make it zero first. Making it zero first, we go to our stroke, we make it two points. 1 point or 2 points for it to be more clear so let us leave it as this let us give our stroke maybe white or any color you like let's just start with white first so you can see we are good to go good to go good to go like this so with this our stroke with this design let us click on this too let's just add a little shadow to it outer shadow not inner little shadows to it so and make the blur radius let it go down let it go down a bit yep so you are good to go so here you close it also Another thing you do now is for you to open this one up and now remove the background. Go to transparent as background. Save this also. Save this also. So I want us to get everything prepared before we go into the business. So now we are good to go. We leave this lab. We go to our photo uh, touch. This is Photoshop touch CC. The link for the app is in the description. And the um, password for this app is also in the video. So watch carefully. I'm going to be dropping the password in the video. So what we need to do is just for us to create a photo library. A photo layer whatever i want to do it so i'm creating a photo layer from here so we are going from our gallery so we are going from pc lab so let's go and look for pc lab okay this is pc lab this is the image you want to use from pc lab so we are going to be doing something you go to this layer okay you see that's the layer i want to work on just go to this fs go to this to this gaussian blow that's the blow effect you want to use just blow it give it a blow yep i think something nice like this just give it points 55 55 or points 40 30 40 30 40 45 45 is okay just click on it. Okay, we are good to go like that. So, what you need to do is to press on done, save. You can also use some other apps. You can use apps like uh, uh, PixArt, Photo Room, Snapseed, uh, Iblis Paint. So, you can use any app for you to blow your background. And that's about I prefer this because if you want to do this kind of movie scene, it will not add the black effect to it. So, now we are good to go, good to go, good to go. So, what we need to do is just for us to click, click on this. Let us go back. Just go to image. No, go to this one, export. So, we are saving as gallery. As gallery. So, you click on the image you want to save. Okay. Now. We have saved it to our gallery so we go back to our um pixel app go back to your pixel app go to the uh, background again bring in the background that you use from uh, pixel app the one you save save it so this particular um 
what's it called? This particular, uh, this one that the other one that we did the shape. Now go and texture it with the one with blood, blood. So go to texture from texture. Yep. Just leave it the way it is and texture it. You know, it will, it will act funny at first, but leave it enabled or leave it here. Yeah, just go to scale, scale it up, scale it up totally. No, <laughs> this is good. We made a, a, a mistake there together. And sorry, no one was here to comment or to correct me. Thank God we made this mistake. So what we're going to do, is just for us to delete this and go back. So we go to import the image that we save. So we import this. Importing this, go to this relative size. Sorry, I don't cover my mistake in my tutorial. So that when you do the same mistake to you, you know how to quickly retrace your step back. So texture, you go to back to texture. You now add this one on, on it. You know they are in the same size. It's as good as this. You have created a beautiful movie scene. A beautiful movie scene. So what we need to do is go to go, go to go, go to go, go to go. So now we have created a good movie scene. And what we need to do now is to uh, movie scene is to um, is to add color to it. We add color to it. Go into our color. So let us just pick white from white. Let us reduce the background uh, the opacity. Maybe you can see so i think we still need to cut it down let me just give this a little bit of darkness and go down so you can see so it depends on how you want it to be it depends on how you want your glass to be so you can see we are having a nice glass morphism here so let's go we go back to the image that we closed we open it up you can see that is for our uh, what's it called that is for our um, stroke so from the stroke you can go to this part you can just lock this take this up Okay, let's work on this. Let us go back to editing the image. So from here, we go to the opacity. You now leave the opacity. This opacity too, if you can work on it, if you want the glass to look more like glass or whatever, or full step glass. This is like full step glass. This is like a clear glass. So just leave it like 0 0.2. 0 0.2. That's okay. So from here, we go to our stroke. We have added stroke to it. So go to stroke blur. So radius blur radius for your stroke. So just give it 0.1. It's as good as that. And we're good to go, good to go, good to go. We have our glass morphism seem perfectly done perfectly 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 done so another thing you can still do you can decide that you want to change the uh the color of your what's it called of your stroke sorry the color of your stroke so you can still put anything you like like one of the one i did i put uh what's called gradient like this as the color of my stroke and it came out very beautiful okay i put something like this in the color of my stroke so and uh, it, it came out beautifully well yep something like this it came out beautifully well beautifully well so Yep, so you are good to go, good to go, good to go, good to go. But this, I just think we should just use white. Let's just use white for the background of our stroke. Sorry, oh, sorry. Oh. Let's just use white for our stroke background. Yes, I think we are good to go like this. White. So that's all about that. So now, I mean, uh, whatever, whatever it's been called, we can go to our background brightness. You can see, you can toy with this or just leave it the way it is. Now, we're just going to add something tests on it i just do something like um mm, latest trend okay you are advertising for this product actually so let us go to a font um list whatever let us add something to it something that will make it look nice so latest trend let us make it a bit um attractive so something like this let me lock this so that we won't be having an issue with it. Let me lock this and lock this. Test trend. So I think we are good to go, good to go, good to go, good to go. Now, so here we have something like let's just create a shape. Let us create a shape. Mm, let us create a shape. Add a radius to it. Yep. A gradient. No, I don't like that. Yep. We have something like this. Just put in. Let me copy this follow me you can also try to follow me on all social medias i'm on behance instagram and whatsoever so whatever way you want to follow me just make sure that you follow me so let me just <gasps> put my name there or mobile graphics nice so i think here we are good to go 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 so here we are good to go 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 so this is a very nice design a very nice design a nice design that you can actually work with and and actually uh do for anybody and they will really appreciate it so this is a very nice movie scene that i shipped on photoshop and uh cc and pc lab so with this you can save it or whatever so we're going to be working the same way on our this thing on our how will i put it and we work the same way on the um, cart very soon so i think i don't like the um 
I don't like the, the shadow of this. The shadow is casting on this. I don't like it. So maybe let us reduce the darkness. Yep. Let's go like this. So we are good to go. We are good to go. So thank you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel so that I can drop more videos and more tips for you to enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.